We all grew up to these nursery rhymes. You see, as children, we were all too innocent to realise what these nursery rhymes actually meant. No? No idea what I'm talking about, do you? Roll the intro. Now, you wouldn't think that nursery rhymes would have a dark meaning behind them. Plagues and burning at the stake. These are topics you wouldn't typically talk to a child about. However, so many of the nursery rhymes we all grew up singing have such a dark origins that you'd be shocked to find that kids are still being taught them. Here are four nursery rhymes that hold a dark meaning. In no particular order, Number 1. Jack and Jill Now, Jack and Jill is a beloved nursery rhyme that thousands of people from around the world know and love. But, what if I told you that it ties in with the French Revolution? Yeah, you heard that right, the French Revolution. If you dive deep enough into the roots of this rhyme, you will realise just how dark it actually is and wonder why the hell it is sang to children. Jack is actually Francis Louis XVI and Jill was really Marie Antoinette. Both highly convicted of treason during the French Revolution, otherwise known as the Reign of Terror, and they were beheaded. Jack, or Louis XVI, lost his crown, i.e. his throne and his head. Oh, and Jill, or Marie Antoinette if you want to call her, her head soon followed. The words and lyrics to Jack and Jill were made more acceptable as a story for children by providing a happy ending. The actual beheadings occurred during the Reign of Terror in 1793. Number 2. Ring a Ring of Roses. Now, it goes a little something like this. Ring a ring of roses, a pocket full of pauses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. That was poetry done by yours truly. And if you could see what I was doing, I was pushing my glasses up like a proper poet. Now, this sounds familiar, right? Now, it's said that this rhyme refers back to the Black Death or the Great Plague. Now, there's no solid proof for this claim, but some experts claim that it was actually about the Black Death that stormed through Europe during the 17th century. A rosy ring was one of the first signs of a foul smelling disease. People carried pauses of herbs in their pockets to ward off the stench, and sneezing and coughing was the final symptom. We all fall down. I think that pretty much speaks for itself. Number 3. Goosey Goosey Gander So, it's really hard to imagine that a rhyme with the words Goosey Goosey in its title could be described as anything but happy. But actually, it's a story of religious persecution. During the days when Catholic priests would hide themselves in order to say their Latin prayers, which by the way was a big no-no back in the day, they couldn't even do it in the privacy of their own home. In the original version, the narrator comes upon an old man who wouldn't say his prayers, so he took him by his left leg and just threw him down the stairs. That's a bit drastic, isn't it? Jesus Christ. Number 4. London Bridge is falling down. So, depending on who you ask, London Bridge is falling down could be about a Viking attack that happened in 1014. It could be about a child's sacrifice, or could just be wearing terror the old bridge. But the most popular theory seems to be the first one. More specifically, the alleged destruction of London Bridge at the hands of Olaf II of Norway. 
The song's popularity around the world is often cited as further proof that it was the Vikings who created it, believing that they brought the tune to many places that they travelled. Oh, and you know that whole child sacrifice thing? That's an idea that's often debated, even though there's no archaeological evidence to support it, but the theory goes that in order to keep London Bridge upright, the builders believed that it must be built on a foundation of human sacrifice. But not just adults, it was mostly children. These would help watch over the bridge and maintain its sturdiness, which I'm pretty sure they don't teach you in architecture school. So how about that? I bet you didn't know any of them. Yeah, well, neither did I. I'm gonna need therapy after finding out my whole childhood was built on lies.